Hey everybody, this is Zacherzo with Billbox. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to add a health bar to your game. Now, this is a pretty cool hack, but in Billbox 3.0, it's going to be totally native. You won't have to hack this at all. So this is what we're going to be making today. In the last couple of videos, I've been teaching you how to make a platformer game and then how to add a Mario block smash to your game, where you can stand on top of the blocks, but you can also jump from underneath them and smash them. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a health bar in the upper left-hand corner so that you can keep track of your character's health. So let's get started so I can show you how to do this. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is open up your web browser and in the top left I want you to put in Glyph Studio Font Generator and then hit enter. Should be the one right at, near the top, might be second one down. So you want to click on Glypher Studio Font Design Online and that'll take you to the Glypher Studio home page. We're going to scroll down and click on the Glyphor Studio Online option. Double click it. It's going to open up this new font generator. And then right here you want to type in health bar. And then hit start a new font from scratch. So that'll open up the Glyph Edit Chooser. Okay, and so right here you want to scroll down to zero and double click on it. Okay, now we're going to actually draw our health bar. So I'm going to click on the little shape editor here and I'm going to try to get as close as I can and draw a double square and I'm going to go to 10 squares across. So we're at 3, 6, 9, let's double check that, 3, 6, 9, and 10. Good. Okay, perfect. So that's exactly what you want. So let's double check and make sure that that is looking okay. Let's see here. That's pretty close. I'd say that's, I'm pretty happy with that. So that's it for zero. So I'm going to click on it. I'm going to hit Command C on my keyboard and copy it. And then I'm going to click out of it over here. I'm going to click on the ABC XYZ right here. So I'm going to click out of it. And then I'm going to scroll down. And now I'm going to hit one. And I'm going to double click on one. Now I'm going to hit Command V. Or I'm going to click on the page. I'm going to hit Command V and paste in the health bar shape that I copied before. Now I'm going to make this, bring this down, and I'm going to make it four squares smaller. So I'm going to do a total of six squares across. Okay, cool. I'm happy with that. So now I'm going to click on that shape, and it's important to click out of it, and then click on the shape again, and then hit Command C or Control C so that you can copy it. Because if you don't click out of it, it's going to copy the original shape. It's not that big of a deal if you copy the original shape, but it's easier if you click out of it. Okay, so one more time. I'm going to click on ABC, XYZ, scroll down, click on 2, and then I'm going to click on the page, and then I'm going to hit Command V and paste it right in there. Okay, now I'm gonna shrink it down till it only has two squares, like that. Okay, perfect. So I'm gonna click out of that. So now I've got my health bar. At zero, it's gonna be this. At one, it's gonna be this. At two, it's gonna be this. Okay, so now I'm ready to export it. So at the top left here, you're gonna click on this menu bar. That's gonna open up these options right here, and I want you to click on export font. Double click on that. And then click on export OTF font. Give it a few seconds, and then you'll see it show up right down here. I'm going to open up a finder window. So I'm going to click on the desktop right here, and then I'm going to hit Command N on my keyboard to open up a new finder window. I'm going to go to Applications, and I'm going to open up Font Book. Double click on that. OK, great. So we're going to add in the new font to our computer. So I'm going to go to Downloads. I'm going to click on the Health Bar font that I just made. I'm going to click Open. It's going to take a few seconds. This window is going to open up, and it says Font Validation. And then you just select the font that you want, click on Health Bar, and then click on install check. So there's our new font right there, perfect. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and open up BuildBox and I'm gonna select the project, great. So this is the same project that I used in the Mario Block Smash video, so if it looks familiar, that's why. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the world UI and I'm gonna add the new font that we created. I'm gonna go into the upper right hand corner and select the font builder. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in a new font I'm going to select the font that we added over here on the right. The name of our font was Health Bar, so I'm going to select that. And then I'm going to change the name of it to Health Bar. 
the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the main color. I'm going to choose red because the main character has fire on top of its head, so I want it to kind of look like a flame. So I'm going to choose the main color as red, and I'm going to choose the gradient color as orange to try to create a flame feel. Okay, that looks pretty good. It's not perfect, but I think it'll work. So I'm going to exit out of my font builder, and now I'm going to add a label. I'm going to drag in a label right about here, and I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. And I think that's pretty good. We'll test it out here in a second just to see. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the settings. I'm going to change the function type to score. I'm going to change the world to all. I'm going to change the score type to points. I'm going to change the amount to current. I'm going to keep the alignment left and keep the font, health bar, and click stick to edge. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drag in an event observer. I'm going to place it right next to the other eye so it kind of looks like a pair of eyes. I'm going to select the event observer and I'm going to change the event type. So I'm going to change the event type to total points. And I'm going to change the total points to three. This is going to give the character a total of three lives, or a health of three. Great, so let's take a look at what that health bar looks like right now. Okay, so our health bar looks pretty good, but it's a little bit off. It's not exactly in the corner the way I want it to be. So I'm going to change this real time. I'm going to move the bar over here to the left, and I'm going to take build box, and I'm going to move it over here to the right. Now, I'll be able to change this in the scene and be able to change it in the preview real time. So I think right about there looks pretty good. Maybe a little bit down. Okay, cool, I like that better. That looks much better. Okay, I'm happy with that. The last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the name of this event observer to health bar. Great. So now I'm gonna go back to my menu editor and I'm now going to hook up the health bar event to the game over UI. Now I'm gonna go into my world and change some things around. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the upper left hand corner and I'm going to select characters and select my character. This is going to open a menu up over here on the right side. I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to add a component. I'm going to add damage. And I'm going to keep it as a damage of one. That's perfect. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in an action type that is going to serve as points for the health bar. So I'm going to drop in this little fireball action, and it doesn't matter what the action looks like, it's just as long as you drop it in as an action type. Okay, so for right now, I'm going to leave this here, but I'm going to change the settings of this fireball over here on the left. First things first, I'm going to change the name to points for health bar, or just points for health. I'm going to change the collision shape so that it is really oversized and way bigger than it should be. Great. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the action type to coin, and then I'm going to change the reward coins from 10 to 0. I'm going to get rid of the show coin reward, and I'm going to change the reward points from 0 to 1. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drag in an enemy type. So I'm going to bring in a little water drop so that it's an enemy to the little fire kid. So I'm going to bring the water drop in as an object. So that's a little bit too big. So I'm going to change the scale from 1 and 1 to 0 0.6 and 0 0.6. OK, that looks much better. I'm going to drag over my water drop right about here so that I can jump over it. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the settings on this water drop to enemy. So in the top right, I'm going to change it from platform to enemy. Something else that needs to be done on the character is to add some health to the character. So I'm going to select the character in the upper left hand corner. It's going to open up the menu on the right here. And I'm going to scroll down and add another component. So I'm going to add a component and it's going to be health. So I'm going to give the character a health of 999. Okay? because it doesn't matter what the character's health is because the health bar is going to keep track of that for us. Okay, great. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select this fireball and then I'm going to hit Command X on my keyboard. If you're using a Windows computer, then you need to hit Control X on your keyboard. 
The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add the fireball to the defeated animation on the water drop. So I'm going to go over here to the left, and I'm going to select the water drop. And then on the top right, I'm going to click on the Edit Defeated Animation button. So here's our defeated animation in the middle. I'm going to select it and hit Command-V on my keyboard. If you're using a Windows, you want to use Control-V and I'm going to recenter my fireball right here in the middle and then change the opacity to zero right there. Fantastic. So now we can't see it. I'm going to exit out of the animation editor. Okay, so I'm going to add one more water drop into the next scene. So I'm going to hit Command C in this scene. I'm going to go down to the bottom and I'm going to click on the first scene and I'm going to hit Command V to paste the water drop into the first scene as well. Now I'm going to test this out and see if it's working. Okay, I'm running, I hit the water drop and my health went down. Now let's see if it knocks me all the way down. Great, my health is coming down, I get one more and game over. I lost my health. Okay. So that's working perfectly. So that's how you add a basic health bar to your game. But what if you wanted to add a shape? Instead of a bar, what if you wanted to have a couple little hearts? Well, I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to make a little pixelated heart to keep track of your health bar. So you're gonna to wanna to open up an Illustrator. The Illustrator that I'm using today is called Affinity Designer. That's the one that I'm used to and I'm comfortable with, but other illustrators will work as well. There's a whole bunch of great free illustrators out there, so go ahead and pick out whichever one that you like best. So I'm gonna start by creating a little heart shape. I'm gonna select the heart shape tool over here, and I'm gonna create a little heart. I think that's pretty good. So I'm gonna zoom in here, and now I'm gonna go ahead and do the little pixels. So I'm gonna start by adding in a little square. And I'm going to change the color of that square to black. Now I'm going to start building a little pixelated heart. So I'm going to start there on the bottom of the heart. Maybe I'll move it down a little bit more. And now I'm going to copy that heart. And now I'm going to copy that little pixel. I'm going to move it up just a little bit and stretch it this way, stretch it that way. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to paste it again. And then I'm going to stretch it out again. And you know, I think that that is a little bit too long. So I'm gonna do that right there. That looks pretty good. Okay, so now I'm gonna keep doing this and I'm gonna fast forward this part so that you don't have to watch me move it by pixel by pixel. <laughs> Okay, so that looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm gonna group these together, and so they're one image. And this next thing I'm about to tell you is very important, so watch how I do this. So, I've got these three hearts here, but to make this work properly, I need to copy them, bring this down, and do the same thing, make three sets of three hearts, and then, bring the opacity down on these two and this one so that you have three different heart sizes. They're all the same size of box but each one has different heart sizes and so those are the ones that you want to export. So select this, create a slice here, create a slice here, Great, so I'm gonna go ahead and export this file right here, and I'm gonna name it heart one. I'm gonna do the same thing with the two hearts, and name it heart two. And then lastly, I'm gonna export three. Okay, great. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is open up your web browser, and now that we have the heart images, we're gonna take those PNG images and we're gonna convert them to SVG. SVG stands for Scalable Vector Graphics. So in the upper left-hand corner, we're gonna type in convert PNG to SVG. We're gonna click on this top one right up here. Great, and the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna choose the file that we want to convert. So I'm gonna choose file, I'm gonna select the one heart, and I'm gonna click open. Next, I'm gonna scroll down and click convert file. 
So that file has been converted. Now I'm gonna select convert another file to SVG. I'm gonna choose another file right here. And this time I'm gonna select two hearts. I'm gonna convert this file and then I'm gonna convert one more. I'm gonna convert the three hearts. So that's my last one. I'm gonna go down here and press convert file. So I now have my three heart SVG images right over here. I'm gonna drag those images onto my desktop so that I have easy access to them. And the next thing I'm gonna do is in the top left, I'm gonna search for Fantastic. And then I'm gonna select Fantastic right up here at the top. This will take you to the Fantastic homepage. And the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is enter in your email and your password. So I'm just going to use made up email at gmail.com and make up a password. So you'll want to enter in your own information there or you could just enter in anything you like, it doesn't matter. So the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna to wanna to click on add more icons and then import icons. So you're gonna to wanna to click on one heart SVG right here. So we'll open that up and it's been completed, perfect. Okay, great, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to home and then there's our little heart icon. So we're going to click on menu and then add icons to this set. I'm gonna select my second heart SVG, two hearts SVG, and then I'm gonna select the three hearts SVG and add that one into the icon set as well. And you wanna make sure that these are set between zero, one, and two in the customize tab. So you wanna to go to customize and make sure that the three is set to zero, two is set to one, and one heart is set to two. Now we're gonna go ahead and take these three and we're gonna publish them. And we're just gonna download the three icons. I'm gonna open up the zip folder. So there's the folder that was created. I'm gonna go into fonts. I'm gonna change the name of this font to heart bar. Great, I'm gonna exit out of this. I'm gonna open up my font book. I'm gonna press plus. So I'm gonna add a font. I'm gonna click on fonts. I'm gonna add the heart bar. Okay, great, so there's our bar. But it's titled Untitled Font 1. Okay, great, so we're back in the font builder and I'm gonna go ahead and add in another font. This time, I'm gonna select the untitled font one. That's the one that we want. And see right here, you see the way the hearts all look even and this is smooth. This is what you want and this is why we set it that certain way in the Illustrator. So I've got the font selected. I'm gonna name it heart bar and then I'm gonna change the colors to red and orange just like I did before. Okay, that looks good. So now I'm gonna switch this over from health bar to heart bar. Now let's take a look. Okay, so this looks pretty cool, but I think it's a little bit too close to the top. It's kind of cropped off there. So we're, we're gonna need to fix that. So I'm gonna move this off to the side right down here. And then using build box, I'm gonna just situate it just right. Okay, I think that's good. Okay, so let's test this out. One heart. two hearts and three hearts have been used. Awesome, okay, great. So you used all of your health. The heart bar is done, so that looks good. So that's how you make a health bar and that's also how you make a heart bar. So you can definitely hack this and add this to your game and it's pretty awesome. All right, that's it for this tutorial. If you thought this video was useful and wanna see more videos like this, then please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Like and subscribe. <laughs>